panel farms are springing up all over Texas to help bolster our power grid, but a huge solar farm planned for Bandera has sparked a legal challenge from neighboring residents. I-team reporter Jay Avila tells us they worry the project could harm the environment and ruin their way of life. Solar arrays like these are being planned for ranch land outside Bandera. Neighboring landowners trying to block the project have been energized by a recent court order. Grizz, come on! After come on. working in San Antonio for years, Patty Viatric moved out to the so-called cowboy capital of the world, Bandera. I moved here for the peace, the quiet, the tranquility. Viatric worries her hill country views will soon be blocked on two sides by the glare from half a million solar panels. The Rio Lago solar project will soon be built on land leased from one of Viatric's close neighbors. It's going to be horrific. It's going to be noisy. It's going to be ugly. Um, nobody's going to want to buy here. Nobody's going to want to live here. The company developing the project, Pinegate Renewables, headquartered in North Carolina, claims the solar farm will make very little noise, plus vegetation and fencing will reduce its visibility to neighbors. The, what we've come up with is a way that minimizes the impact uh, on, the, on the local surroundings, uh, but also enables us to, to move forward with the project. Protesting a project in your backyard is hardly uncommon, but Theatric and other property owners convinced a judge to grant a temporary injunction last month, blocking the solar farm from taking certain steps to prepare the land until it meets requirements, including obtaining a construction permit, as well as preparing and implementing a stormwater pollution plan from the state's Commission on Environmental Quality. From what I understood, the injunction told them not to start until they had all of their permits in place. We are able to conduct work despite this order being in place. We've met the necessary conditions in order to do that. Neighbors claim this drone video they shot shows crews violating the court order last month by using excavators to uproot trees without putting measures in place to prevent erosion. Pinegate says proper silt fencing was in place and they are only cutting down trees above ground. Roots and soil are not being displaced except when they remove rotting trees. Are you pulling up trees by the roots right now? No, sir. It's my understanding that sometimes these trees just fall over when you touch them and they break kind of right at the, the stem of the tree. Residents have requested an emergency hearing for the end of this month to address the tree issue. A trial to settle the entire dispute has been set for October. For the News 4 I-Team, I'm Jay Avila.